It is Sunday, November 1st, 2020, and this is your Three Gorges Dam update. We have four pieces of information to cover today, including a look at the live stream and the water level at the dam. Also, we're going to have a look at the cranes and see what they're actually used for, and we're going to have a deeper dive into the debris issue. We also have some interesting facts about the dam. Let's hop into it. And a brief caveat before today's video, while researching for these reports I come across information from various sources. Just because I decide to include a piece of information doesn't necessarily mean that I agree with it. I like to let you decide for yourself. Moving on. And first let's have a quick look at the live stream. And the spillway angle camera is still on today. And now a quick look at Oh Reliable, the side angle camera. It's still deactivated. And now let's have a quick look at the water level at the dam. The current water level is 174.26 meters. The current inflow is not noted. And the current outflow is listed at 15,900 cubic meters per second. It is worth noting that these numbers are released by the CCP. Over the past 24 hours, the water level at the dam has fallen a bit. It was about 174.33 meters and currently sits at 174.26 meters. Upstream at Kuntan, the water level was 175.46 meters and currently sits at 175.44 meters. And this comes courtesy of Xena 3546. What are the cranes used for? That's a good question, Xena. To the best of my understanding, the red crane structures on top of the dam are for opening the sluice gates. And thanks for the comment, Xena. Now back to the debris issue. This is courtesy of Blipco5. The trash floating on top at the dam is no real issue as it can be quickly skimmed off the top the real problem is semi-submerged and midway submerged large objects such as tree trunks that could jam the gates and prevent them from closing when it is necessary to do so. And thanks for the comment Blipco. Yeah I've been wondering myself if they have some sort of screens or filters like a way to actually block the debris from rolling into the gates when they do open them. So I fired up the old Google machine and did a bit of snooping around. And here's what I found. In 2010, The Guardian published an article titled, Floating Debris Threatens to Block Three Gorges Dam. And here's a quick quote. The large amount of waste in the dam area could jam the miter gate of the Three Gorges Dam, Chen said, referring to the gates of the locks, which allow shipping to pass through the Yangtze River. And another article I found published by The Wall Street Journal in 2010 was titled, Floating Garbage Chokes Major Chinese Dam. And a quick quote from the article, the large volumes of waste could jam a key floodgate on the world's biggest dam. The government-owned China Daily newspaper reported Monday, citing an official with the China Three Gorges Corporation. And once again, I felt like it was at least worth looking into to see whether or not the debris issue is a real issue, but it does seem to be. And this comment is courtesy of Tron God 2000. Amazing to read that Chinese authorities launch a crackdown on illegal fishing while they promote illegal fishing in other countries' waters. And it is difficult to argue with that, Tron God. The Chinese government has cracked down on fishing in the Yangtze River, while at the same time seemingly telling their fishing vessels to fish abroad in places like the Galapagos Islands and even as far away as South America. And I found this new article, courtesy of NASA Earth Observatory, to be rather interesting. It's titled, China's Unrelenting Season of Flooding. And the article includes some really interesting before and after satellite images of the Songhua River in Harbin. And a quick quote from the article, The 2020 summer monsoon season has delivered historic amounts of rain to China. Since June, unusually strong stationary weather systems have produced frequent storms and heavy rainfall in major river basins in central, southwestern, and northeastern China. 
In September, Typhoon Maisak brought persistent rainfall to the Heilongjiang province and flooded nearby areas. The rain submerged buildings in Harbin, the provincial capital, and caused rivers to overflow. And the before and after photos provide us a good visual indicator of the amount of rain that China received this year. Thank you for watching this video. If you're finding it informative, please consider giving the channel a subscribe. And now a series of facts about the dam and another look at the satellite images. And I think that's a good place to wrap up today's video. I hope that you found it informative and check back soon for more content.